Before we start doing anything for the eggs, we have to soak a bag of these noodles. It's glass noodles, vermicelli, you can find it at the local Asian store and sometimes at other stores as well too, but it's these and soak it in warm water. You'll just need a big bowl like this or a small, it doesn't matter. And there's like about two, four, six, eight, and they come like this, they're dried and you have to soak them in warm water and you'll see once they expand you give it like about 30 minutes to expand so you always want to start with this so that way by the time you finish cutting up all your vegetables and cooking the meat this will be ready to put in the egg roll batch the next thing you want to do is this is the dried black fungus strip mushroom you get them, I get them pre-cut like this so it's easier so I don't have to cut them. And another thing I like to do is smash them with like a big motor or something. Just like that. So you can smash it so you don't have to do all that extra cutting and all that stuff. And you can use one bag or two. Me, I like to use... this. Is actually one of my favorite ingredients that's in the egg rolls is this mushroom if you can't find it at the Asian store whatever you don't have to use it but this is my favorite and I'm gonna add it into my egg rolls and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pour it into a pot wash it and boil it for like about a good 30 minutes so it could rehydrate just need a pot and just pour it in See how it's nice and coarse now, or well, not really coarse, but like small than usual. Just rinse it out. Rinse it with this water. You could actually soak these overnight, but say you're like me, I don't like soaking overnight. I just like to cook it. Cause it's already you don't really need to cook it but i like to rehydrate it's faster for me by just cooking it on the stove top rather than soaking it overnight i mean you can do that too but me this is what i prefer give it one more rinse and i'll cook it on high for like about a good 30 minutes it'll rehydrate This is how the noodles look like when it's ready. See how it's like more softer now? So all you'll do is just strain it in a strainer basket like this one and let the water come out. Let it drain out, drain the water out. chopped cabbage you see how it's chopped like this so you'll put like about five cups in there in the bowl you'll need a big bowl like that shredded carrots you can shred it yourself or buy the pre-cut so about three cups of shredded carrot goes in the bowl as well see how it's starting to look Here I've cut up three bundles of green onions. You can use yellow onions, like one head of yellow onions if you like, but I prefer green onions because to me it tastes better. And just throw it in your batch, just like that, okay? Once your noodles are drained, you're gonna cut it up, like chop it up so that way when you eat them, it won't be such a long string, okay? See how I cut them up and they're shorter now and it's gonna go into the mix as well. And now we're going to check on our mushroom. It should be ready to strain and put in the strainer to strain as well, too. Notice how the mushroom is the water soaked it in this. See how it rehydrated? Now I'm going to pour in the strainer so it can strain out the, all the water. See how it looks like from before? It's hot, so be careful. And I'm going to put it in my egg roll mix hot because I like to for it to kind of like um, cook the vegetables. So this is our mix without the mushroom now I'm gonna pour it in um, I like pouring in the mushroom hot like I said because it helps cook the vegetables up a little bit I'm just gonna mix it in 
Now, if you're a vegetarian, you don't have to add the meat, which I'm going to add next is the chicken meat. I'm doing chicken today, but you could add any kind of meat you want. Even shrimp, crab, whatever you prefer. So what I have here now is cooked chicken breast, and I'll, I blended it in the Ninja. So it makes like about six cups of cooked chicken breast. I'll blend it. I'm lazy. You could chop it up with your hand, whatever, but I find it easier to do it like this just because. it's. Or you can use like ground chicken and cook it, but I like to pre-cook my meat because just for my own security to know that all the meat is cooked inside the filling. Now it's time to season it. So all I'm doing is grabbing two tablespoons of the Canora chicken flavor bouillon and just mixing it, putting it on top of this. Oh, uh, maybe a little bit more. Just eyeball it, okay? And black pepper. There's no right or wrong way amount of ingredients you put in here. It'll all taste good. I like a lot of black pepper in my food, so just sprinkle it all on top of here depending if you like it or not. And I love black pepper in my food, so I'm gonna put kind of extra, just like spread it around, you guys. Okay. And a little bit of salt to sprinkle it. A pinch of sugar. Okay. And we're gonna crack two eggs in here. Two eggs, crack it. The eggs will help to keep it in place. So we're going to put two eggs in there. And then we're going to mix it now, okay? Once you add all the seasoning. Sorry, guys. I transferred it into a bigger bowl because I like more room to stir my egg rolls. So just stir it and mix it. And the mix will be ready to fill the egg rolls and wrap them up, you guys. Look how it's looking. Yummy. I can smell it. It smells so good. Now it is time to peel the wrapper, you guys. This is the best kind to buy. But you could buy it in the... Um, the frozen aisle of there, depending on the grocery store, the Asian store mainly. So this is the kind that you buy. It'll say super thin for crispier spring rolls, but this is the best brand. So you just follow the instructions on the back on how to peel them. And once you'll peel them individually like this, you know, and there's like 25 peels, 25 wrappers in one package. And the mix that we made today will make up to at least six to 10 dozen and depending on the filling that you guys put in. You also wanna crack one egg into a bowl because we're gonna use that as, as a glue to seal it after we wrap them, you guys. Okay, so you guys are now ready to wrap them. See how it's peeled? So we're just gonna set it down on a, put a plate or corner, whatever, counter I mean. And let's see, like about a spoonful of filling. That's how big my spoon is, pretty big. And you're gonna start with folding the top, okay? Push it over, roll it. Pull the two corners and keep on rolling it just like that and then you can use the egg and dab it in the corner like a glue and there you go you have your egg roll so now we're just gonna fry them So in order to fry them, you just put the oil, cooking oil. I like, I prefer vegetable oil, so you can use whatever kind of oil you want. Put the oil on medium high and just throw the egg rolls in. It's like frying um, french fries or fish sticks. And my pot is big enough where I'm gonna go ahead and put two dozens in here. And I'm just gonna fry it until it's golden crispy brown. Stir it periodically so that way it could brown evenly. Notice how it's getting crispy brown already. So and remember the meat's already cooked. That's why I like to cook the meat first because it makes it helps the egg roll cook faster, you guys. So once it gets golden brown, you're gonna take it out of the oil and let it drain and then you're gonna enjoy it. See? Like that one. Just about the right color. 